Hey guys, this is Martin and welcome back to the Firefox extension mini series. And today's extension I want to show you is called Hack Tools, right? Like, so go to Google, Google Hack Tools, Firefox extension, and then you end up at this page and you install it, right? So what is Hack Tools? Well, it's a little cheat sheet online for your browser, basically, right? Like, so you can come over here and you simply go to Hack Tools and then you have like all kinds of useful information, right? Like for example, how to create a reverse shell. So if you're in an engagement and you need, you don't remember like the, the netcat syntax or something like this, you basically find it here and you can copy it out right away. The same goes like for P a PHP reverse shell or something like this, um, which is from Pentest Monkey, which is a very cool website, by the way. And, you know, TTY spawn shell, useful Linux commands. Like if you're stuck, if you're in an engagement and well, what was this command again? And instead of Googling around and just go through this here real quick, like environment variables and stuff like that, service settings and all these kind of things, right? Like PowerShell, if you're Microsoft somewhere, um, you can come over here, uh, transfer methods, right? Like for example, PowerShell invoke a web request and like, it, it, you know, this is not specifically web application related, all, all the things like Mimikatz or something like this, um, LFI, local file inclu inclusion and stuff like that, like the most common one on Linux, um, the most common one on Apache, you know, like typically you always try to get to the ETC pass WD, but, but there's many more and, 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 you know, so there's, there's like also on the Windows system, like there's the boot in the end and, um, batch files and stuff like that, right? Um, Cross-site scripting, um, I, I don't use this heavily, um, to be honest, because uh, I prefer payload all the things, right? Like, and I do a lot of manual testing, as you probably have seen in my previous videos. Um, but this is like, especially if you're new to it and you're looking for bypass and stuff like that, then it's useful, right? Like, but it's not as comprehensive as um, payload all the things, but it's useful. The same goes like for database enumeration stuff. Uh, once again, it's kind of basic, right? Because um, if you go to the Portswigger SQL cheat sheet, for example, you get a lot more information there and stuff, but um, it's an add-on. Data encoding is useful, you know, if you want to encode, decode stuff on, on the fly, like real quick, like different URI encoding, hex encoding and stuff. You have this in Burp as well, right? Like, so um, don't get me wrong. Um, obfuscated file extension, creation, hashing. If you find like um, a hash functionality somewhere and you and you want to create a quick MD5 hash or SHA, SHA1, SHA256, SHA512 and stuff, you can do this here. Just put it in there, get hash, blah, blah, blah. Um, pretty cool. Um, it, it's useful, especially if you're, if you're new to pen testing, bug bounty hunting and things like that. And it's free, so you might as well install it to your uh, Firefox browser. I hope you find this useful. Please subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next video.